America needs 100 years to catch up with this Chinese mega project. On January 20th, 2025, at exactly 3.47 p.m. Beijing time, America quietly lost its technological crown to China, and not in AI, not in chips, but in something far bigger, power of the sun itself. This is China's East Reactor, the artificial sun that just shattered its own world record. For 17 straight minutes, Chinese scientists contained plasma hotter than 180 million degrees Fahrenheit. 10 times hotter than the sun's core. America, its record is measured in microseconds. In fact, U.S. intelligence now admits it could take America 100 years to catch up. So how did this happen? The secret lies in two very different paths taken back in 2006, when both nations joined the ITER fusion project in France. America saw it as science for all. China saw it as the ultimate intelligence operation. Chinese scientists didn't just share resources. They absorbed every innovation, every technique, and then built something bigger, faster, and more unified than the fragmented American system ever could. Then came the defections. Fusion experts who once worked at Princeton or Los Alamos crossed over, lured not by money, but by what America could never give them. Unlimited resources and the chance to see their ideas industrialized in their lifetime. In Beijing's labs, they found armies of PhD researchers, 10 times more than the U.S. produces each year, all working with state-of-the-art machines in a single mission, fusion supremacy. And while America celebrated its 2022 laser ignition breakthrough at Lawrence Livermore, an achievement that lasted for a fraction of a second, China was already building the world's largest laser fusion complex in Sichuan, twice the size and built in just two years. Washington realized too late that this wasn't just a race. It was a restructuring of global power. You see, fusion isn't just about clean energy. It's about controlling the economic and military balance of the 21st century. Whoever perfects it first can power entire nations, fuel space programs, and literally rewrite the limits of civilization. The irony? China built its supremacy on a foundation America created. 70 years of U.S. research perfected and scaled by China, leaving Washington in the dust. The student has outpaced the teacher and left the teacher wondering if the game is already over. Here's a quick question. How do you think China can use the artificial sun, which is 10 times hotter than the sun's core?